Well, the fifth time appears to be the charm. Democrats have finally given in and confirmed Hannah Scandera as the state's education secretary. The Senate just voted 22 to 19 to make it happen. News 13's Cole Miller is live at the Roundhouse with the end of what's been another dramatic day surrounding the controversial Scandera. Cole? Oh, Jessica, Dean, a dramatic day is right. That decision came down about 45 minutes ago in front of a packed Senate gallery. Now, this is the first time this decision has gone to the full Senate for a vote. To be served at the pleasure of the governor has been duly been approved by the Senate. Now, since her appointment by the governor in 2011, she's always held the title secretary designate. The Democrat-controlled Senate has always refused to even vote on her confirmation. Now, she's faced criticism for her controversial teacher evaluations, focus on standardized testing, and lack of classroom experience. Those in support of Scandera say change was needed, and her reforms are working. Earlier this morning, for the first time, the Senate Rules Committee voted to send her confirmation to the Senate floor. Democrat Clemente Sanchez voted with Republicans just so he could see it get a full vote. In the end, five Dems voted for her in the full Senate, and many echoed similar feelings, saying she has the job anyway, and it's time to finally end this drama. Now, this decision means Scandera will likely be at the helm of the PED for the next four years. Back to you. Cole, of course, the Senate could not oust Scandera. The confirmation is basically symbolic. Hundreds of teachers from across New Mexico marched at the Roundhouse today to show they don't stand with Scandera. Would not listen to the teachers and parents of that state. It's to be teachers say their students have been the victims of Scandera's education policies the last few years. They say New Mexico's kids need a teacher, not an administrator.